Hi, this is Arson Cash Cashian, head buyer at the Boulder Bookstore, and you are looking at a mountain of books. Lots of books. So I did something really crazy this week. I bought a ton of Shambhala books, the Buddhist publisher that's based here in Boulder. And I mostly bought them sight unseen. Brilliant move. Hopefully, hopefully it's a brilliant move for our customers. So Shambhala is moving offices, and in their current office they had a big bookstore. You know, probably the whole first floor is a bookstore. And they had all their publications from, you know, dating back 20, 30, 40 years even. And so now they're moving to a smaller office. They're going to be closer to us. We're really happy about that. We like the people at Chimbala. Someday we can go to lunch with them perhaps, and it's going to be wonderful. But in the meantime, they needed to do something with all these books because they weren't going to have space for that big bookstore they had in their previous office. So they let me, they asked us, they sent me an uh, email and said, you guys, are you interested in some of the books? And I, of course, sight unseen said, if the price is right, we'll be interested in them all. And so they got back to us with a price, and it was the right price. So I had done some mental calculations based on the size, and I thought we'd get somewhere between 4,000 and 6,000 books, which is a lot of books. And then when they were, and then they were boxing them up for us, which was very nice, and they told us they had maybe 150 to 180 boxes. So I thought 30, 40 books a box, we're looking at five, 6,000 you know, books which is still a lot, but I thought we could absorb them. It's not as crazy as could be. But what I didn't know was they were packing them in like moving boxes. I thought a publisher would pack them in publisher boxes. So instead of 30 or 40 in a box, there's like 57 in this box next to me. There's 60, there's a box that says 91 over there. They were enormously heavy. And when the final total came in, it was over 11,500 books. So, what are we going to do with all these books? I'm just, right now we're sorting through them. Every day I'm putting some of them on sale. And we're going to take you through the process a little bit. Like, what does it mean for a little store like us? Not that we're that little, we're a big store, but we're little in the sense that we don't have a warehouse. We don't have 12 locations or anything. How does a store like us deal with all these books? So, Julia and I are going to take you through this process a little bit from, you know, where the books are stored, the unpacking, and looking at some of the individual titles. And there's all sorts of great titles. Shambhala specializes in Buddhism, but they've got great books on Christianity, on Judaism, on psychology. Their Roost line has wonderful cookbooks and craft books. And all these we're really selling at a good discount. And while I'm sorting them, everything on the table, if you came up to our Upper North room, anything that's on the table trying to be sorted, you can come up here and buy for just $7.98. So like right in front of me, is this really nice cookbook, which is a $35 cookbook. If you came here today, you could just pick it up, $7.98. So, all sorts of stuff. We're gonna show you some more as we go, but um, come look at the selection. We're gonna be unpacking, I think, all the way through the month of March. And then even as we, even as we finish sorting, we're gonna put probably most of these books on sale. So there's gonna be lots of great values for you here. This is kind of a once in a lifetime buy for us once in a lifetime opportunity for our customers to get some of these books that um, you can't find anywhere even online for less than 20 bucks a lot of these books and we've got them at great prices we've got a great selection um, we'll get into the whole ken wilbur section as we go on here but stay tuned and we're going to give you a little tour we're going to try to open a box so you can see kind of what i've been seeing I, you never know what's in any of these boxes so we're going to take this box Oh my God, Shambhala, what have you done to me? Ugh. All right, there it is on the ground. Oh my God. You can imagine how much fun that was getting those boxes up the stairs, up to here. So here we go. We're gonna open this box. We'll see, is there great stuff? Is it a dud? Who knows? But here we are. This is what we do every day here at the Boulder Bookstore. This looks like a box that's gonna yield some cookbooks and stuff. Southern from scratch, actually in English. That looks like a beautiful book. A New Way to Food. Look at that, that's a beautiful book. You know, some of these books, um, I don't remember as new books. You know, they came, they went, um, you know, they got lost in the hustle and bustle. And I feel like this is a time to really slow down and really appreciate the great work that the people at Chimbala have done over the years. 
Um, it's just not one, you know, every week new books come in and it's just, we're like on a cycle, a treadmill almost. And this is a time where you can come and really look and see the accomplishments of a, an amazing publisher over the course of several years. And, and really uh, look at these books and take some time. Let's see, we'll pull out one or two more in here. Uh, here's one we've been selling well already. We've sold probably about 10 copies of this already from the ones I've received. Botany at the Bar. All right, so I thought I'd give people a close-up idea of what some of the books are in there. So I mentioned Ken Wilber. Ken Wilber is local to Colorado, amazing books. I mean, who writes a book called like The Theory of Everything? And you know, there's so many different books. So like you could get the Ken Wilber books like this, Sex, Ecology, and Spirituality. It's only about 900 pages. Ken Wilber, Ken Wilber, Ken Wilber, Ken Wilber. All these amazing books he did through his career. Then there's the collected works. We have all of them in hardback and paperback up here. This $50 book. If you happen to show up today, P798. There's, if you want Ken Wilber's picture, because he had a period in his career where all his books seemed to have his picture on them. You have to ask Shambhala why that happened. And then he's got some, some we've already received, and we're putting, this one's actually $5.98, but there's so many great books here. Another thing we have here is some wonderful cookbooks. I mentioned those earlier too. And Roost just does an amazing job with their cookbooks. This is by Linda Lomolino, who does many of their books, uh, has, has many books through them. This is My Sweet Kitchen. So just beautiful pies and things like that. Handmade gatherings. Yes, we will be able to gather again someday. And you will want to have handmade gatherings, which is cooking, crafts, all sorts of different things. Just beautiful recipes, just beautifully done book. They just do such a nice job with their photography in these books. It's really nice. Feeding a family, again, beautiful cookbook. And you can actually, it's like, it's like fantasy right now, just to view some of the pictures of people together. But again, um, just really wonderful stuff. These books aren't marked at all. They're in brand new condition. Um, so much to look at. It's really fun to see a publisher's whole line spread out like this. It's just wonderful. Um, and then another one of their topics, which I hadn't mentioned earlier, is yoga. And Richard Freeman, Mary Taylor are right here in Boulder. Many of you might know them. And they put out this beautiful book. Uh, and we have some copies of this. Just, there's Richard, Mary there. And again, a couple more of the yoga books here that are just big, beautiful books. And I know that um, my wife has taken up yoga, doing it in the living room. And so I think a lot of people are looking for ways to exercise, things to do, meditations. You know, I think yoga fills a lot of the longing that's been going on during this time period. So if you're new to yoga or you're experiencing yoga, Shambhala's got tons of great yoga books. And so I encourage you to come Look, browse at the tables, take these books off our hands. We only have 11,500 or so of them. We're going to go outside. That's why we're in front of the sex and erotica section because there's a secret door over here. And that secret door leads to this hallway where before this Shambhala buy, the Boulder bookstore had stored nothing. We had never put anything outside in this hallway. We're going to go out here. Let's see, just to have an idea that if you're worried, if you're worried out there like, oh my God, they're gonna run out of books, I better get down there immediately. They could sell 11,500 books tomorrow. So just in case that's your fear, hopefully that will mean the alarm won't go off. Okay, here we go. Out onto the landing, this beautiful snowy day. And as we're up here, look at this, Julia. These are all the boxes of books on top of what you saw in there. So we're going to be doing this for a long time. Every box is a treat. Who knows what we're going to find? Come on down to the Boulder Bookstore.